Shadow of the Earth Tree has finally released, and a lot of people are getting humbled really quick. Yeah, I, I'm done. I'm done. I, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, this, this, it's not fun. I can't do this no more, bro. I just feel it took you so long. No, you didn't hit him one more time. He's one HP. <laughs> But one of the problems these streamers have in common is that they don't fully upgrade their flask. Like look at XTC, he's using a level 7 flask. Dude has to use like 5 flasks to get the full HP. But regardless, the bosses in this DLC are cracked. Miyazaki heard people call Elden Ring the easiest Souls game, so Miyazaki cooked up the hardest bosses in all Dark Souls history. So you know those top 10 hardest boss lists in Souls game that fucking, I don't know, Buzzfeed or IGN make? The next iteration of these lists will just be Shadow of the Earth Tree bosses, and then Orphan of Kaz. Which honestly, I, I think he's a little pussy bitch, any of but you know, yeah. The lists don't lie. You know who number one will probably be? Journalist's Worst Nightmare, a tutorial boss. In this video, we'll be focusing on how to beat Radon, Consort of Mikola. I'll let you know now, this guy fucks. Easily top contender for hardest boss in any Souls game ever. But obviously, it depends on your build, you know, whether you cheese him or not, if you summon, how many <laughs> blessings you have, and if you decide to just parry his ass. I wish I knew you could parry him before I uh, started this fight. It took way too long. After Radon pulls out his cock, oh, he's pulling his cock out. you'll likely be stunned by how massive it is. And how cool the cutscene is, I guess. But you might have a couple questions as he slowly comes to kill you as his lord and savior femboy has asked. Why is the boss Radon and not Mikola? Where's Radon's horse? Is saying femboy offensive? What? The answer is yes to all three. Let's start with Radon's special moves, then move on to his swing combos. When you start the fight, Radon will come charging at you like you just opened a bag of Doritos during an anime convention. He'll likely start with this move every time, but I've had him do his jumpy flips every now and then. Roll as he's about to hit you, and you'll be able to get some free hits in afterwards. When Radon's swords glow purple and swings into the ground while he's next to you, that means he's gonna summon some purple meatballs that his mom used to make, and throw them down towards you. You'll want to keep some distance because these meatballs stink more than that piss bottle you let fester for 3 months. Run to the left or right depending on your position, and as the meatballs are about to hit you, you have to yell out jumpies and jump. If you don't yell out jumpies, I will personally make sure Miyazaki comes over to your house and deliver your own piss meatballs. Me and Miyazaki, we're real tight. Apparently, not as tight enough for me to get early access to the DLC, but it's fine. Whatever. We've talked it through. Fucking asshole. When you see Radon look like he's about to take a fat dookie, that means he's gonna yell and pull you back towards him. So when you see him crouch down, dodge and you'll be fine. But if you can't dodge or you need more practice, you can run away from him and jump and you'll be able to survive if you do get pulled. If you're far away enough from him when he screams, you won't take any damage from the gravity pull. Just make sure you say jumpies or you will die. Radon has some pretty easy tells for when he's doing his jumpy ground slam. If you're right up next to him, he'll just run away for a second for some reason, but when he runs away he'll either do his jumpies or he'll suck you in, so just keep an eye on that. When Radon does his jumpies, there's also a chance he'll do a second jumpy right afterwards. If you wait a second before attacking, you can either bait him to do his second jumpy or get a free hit in. Just wait a second and you'll guarantee a hit afterwards. Depending on your weapon, you can hit him after each jumpy and still dodge his attacks. His last special move, he will stab forward and make a little red butthole, and then slash it open, where it then proceeds to explode because he refused to get it checked out at the doctor. This is the only time in the whole expansion where rolling backwards is a good move. When you see him stab, roll backwards three times after each move. There's a little delay between each one, but don't roll into him, as when the butthole explodes, you will get shit all over you. We don't like shit. But if you don't want to be a bussy, you can take a riskier move and roll behind him when he starts to stab and get a free hit or two in. Radon has a lot of combos, he has a very obvious tells for when he's done each one. If you're like me, you probably had issues with his 3 swing sweep combo. 
I still have no idea how to dodge that move, and you know, I don't think I ever will. You want to roll into one of the arms and behind them so that the second swing either goes over your head or it gives you more time to roll if it were to hit you. There's another tactic that you can use if you get the improved backstep talisman so that you just backstep the first attack and then roll the second and so on. And then spank his ass because he's a very bad boy for using a combo that requires backstepping because I refused to ever learn how to do it. Radon has a main combo that can vary from 3 to 69 swings. But at the end of this combo, it always ends with him having a temper tantrum and smashing the ground around him. The combo usually also starts with him smashing the ground in a cone in front of him. If you roll backwards, you will get hit with the broken ground that lingers. Roll to the left, he'll then slash downwards, which is also a point in which you can start this combo. He'll then double swing from your right, so you'll have to roll two times to the right after each one. He'll then do what we talked about and smash the ground while you'll dodge and then shove your blade right up his cooter. You'll be shoving a lot of things in his cooter, so I hope you've learned properly on how to sanitize. We all know Radon does not wash very well after the incident. Next we have Radon's two big swing combo. Now I don't doubt you can dodge this on your own, but when you see Radon crouch down, that's when you should roll the first one, and then when he brings the blades above his head is when you should roll the second. Radon has a 3-4 to four swing combo where he could just kind of swings wildly. These swings are easy to dodge as they're slow and have plenty of time between each attack. But the problem with this attack is that sometimes he does an extra attack to catch you off guard and bait you into attacking. When you see Radon slowly stand up to fix his posture is when he's finished the combo and then you can get your one cheeky free hit in. Radon's last combo can catch you off guard if you panic. So whatever you do, don't panic. Yeah, now I'm panicking. Yeah, don't panic. No, I am because I'm gonna lose my job. But once you panic- You'll start the combo with a downwards chop and follow it up with a swing to your right. Then follow that up with a backwards hand swing from the left. Once he finishes trying to backhand you like a slut, you can then get a cheeky fast roll attack, which he's not a huge fan of. Now on to the second phase, which is the biggest bullshit you've ever seen. Radon will call his femboy over and allow the femboy to ride his back, effectively answering one of our questions from earlier. Radon is the horse. Mikula the feeble rider. Radon is a power bottom, Mikula is the feeble top. Radon will then use the most unfun move in the game. He'll summon a light from the middle of the field in a big AoE. If you choose to summon this fight, you can easily summon at the very start of the second phase. Just can't wait. You can't wait. You gotta do it immediately. Realistically, this move is very easy to dodge. All you gotta do is run away to the outer rim. It's not, the, it's not the damage that's bullshit, it's the fact that this shit lags the fuck out of your computer, effectively making it run at 10 frames a second. Miyazaki has now tapped into lag as an available boss move. You as the foolish consumer have entered a new era of Miyazaki. I have a monster computer and this move makes my shit a goddamn slideshow. I can see each frame of an animation. I can see the past and watch the present fly past my eyes. So yeah. Just run out of it. And at the end of the explosion, there'll be some shine spots in the ground that can hit you, so uh, yeah, you gotta watch out for that too, I guess. Radon keeps the same combos from the first phase, except each swing now spawns a wave of light that can hit you. To avoid these lights, you want to basically shove your face right up his scooter. Never roll backwards, never retreat, and basically walk and roll in one direction. Choose one direction, and that will be the only direction you can move from now on. To flee is to damage oneself. You will hurt yourself if you try to run away. There is one change to his main combo that starts with the ground slam. At the end, he'll explode like a nuke, so instead of going for a free hit after he smashes into the ground, you'll have to roll an additional time. When Radon starts to lift up his swords, it's the perfect time to roll to dodge the light explosion. Occasionally, Radon will start glowing pretty lights. Enforce being a moth. You are a moth in this moment. If you go right between his legs and pretend you're a long schlong, you will come out unscathed from this move. 
after Radon does his meteor move, he will then stay floating in the sky. Radon will then attack five times. Four of these attacks are illusions that barely do any damage, so one tactic is to just tank the first four attacks and dodge the fifth one. He will then be in the same ground slam position, so wait for him to start to lift his swords, and then you can dodge the light nuke, and then you are presented the opportunity to attack him for one measly hit. Or you can run backwards since the first four hits don't actually reach you. The fifth swing, however, will still reach you, and then you'll still have to dodge that ground slam light nuke explosion. Radon will occasionally throw up a gang sign calling the crypts to aid him in killing you. He will then swing two times in quick succession. He will then spin around, so don't get baited by that, and then attack two more times. But if you roll late enough, you can actually dodge both these swings in one roll. Then he'll do a 360 no scope in the air, and when he's about to land, he'll do another light explosion nuke. He must be Russian. In my example, I got hit by the light explosion, but keep your eyes on him, and when he finishes his 360 is the time for you to dodge the nuke. Verdon has one more gang sign move that he calls the bloods to aid him in killing you, which lets him shoot out an AoE light ring. If he does the gang sign that crosses his blades, that's the swinging combo. If he does the gang sign that crosses his arms, that's the AoE ring. Verdon also has an evolved sucky move. Now this is a lot more dangerous if you do get sucked in, so try and dodge the initial sucky. But if you do get hit, he will do the original purple slam move, so make sure to stay jumpy. Then he'll attack five times with four illusions again. So make sure to roll the fifth one or run backwards and jumpy on the fifth one. Once you get Radon to about a quarter left, he will jump high into the sky and slam down on the map. You can easily dodge this by just running as far as you can. Finally, that's all of Radon's moves except for one. Radon will hug you and let Mikola, his male slut, whisper sweet nothings in your ear. Hey, how you doing, little mama? Let me whisper in your ear. When you get grabbed, you'll be confused on what the fuck that did. If you get grabbed a second time, you will have your heart stolen and instantly lose the fight. But you get an email, so that's, that's cool. Hopefully by following this guide, I helped you in some matter during Radon's fight. Please like and subscribe, I have a lot of other videos that I've worked hard on, so please check them out. I also stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 4pm, so come on by and we can, I don't know, fuck I guess. Yes. Yes, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I hated that. Honestly, it was kind of fun. I kind of got it at the end, but the first 100 deaths, not very fun.